Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program to count vowels, consonants, digits and special characters in a string. First, let us take some examples. As you can see, for input, we have the output with the number of vowels, consonants, digits and special characters. Next, let us see the algorithm. We take a sample string geek at the rate of 1 and pass it to count character type function. We take variables vowels, consonant, digit and special character all initialized to 0. Next, we iterate over the string in the for loop from 0 to str.length that is 6. So first i will be 0. Then we take a character ch which will be equal to str of i which is g in our case. Now the first if condition in the for loop gets satisfied as ch lies between a and g. Since ch is in lower case it remains small g and we check if ch is a vowel or not. As it is not we go to the else part and increment consonant. We continue iteration in the for loop and now i will be 1 and ch is e. Since e is an alphabet, the first if condition gets satisfied and we check if ch is a vowel. As it is, we increment variable vowels. So vowels will now be 1. We continue iteration in the for loop. Now i will be 2 and ch will be e. Since e is an alphabet, the first if condition gets satisfied and also as ch is a vowel, we increment variable vowels. So vowels will now be 2. We continue iteration in the for loop and now i will be 3 and ch is k. Since ch lies between a and z, the first if condition gets satisfied and since ch is in lower case it remains small k. Then we check if ch is a vowel as it is not we go to the else part and increment consonant. Now i will be 4 and ch is at the rate. The first if condition in the for loop does not get satisfied. so. We go to the else if part and check if ch is a digit. As it is not, we increment special care. Now i will be 5 and ch is 1. As it is a number, the first if condition does not get satisfied and we go to the else if part and check if ch is a digit. As it is a digit, we increment the digit variable. We finish iteration in the for loop and print the four variables. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.